Skirnir's Journey was translated by Jackson Crawford. Frey, son of Njorf, sat on Hlifskjalf and looked out over all the worlds. He looked into Jotunheim, and there he saw a beautiful woman who walked from her father's house to her own little detached house nearby. He became lovesick from the sight. Frey had a servant who was named Skirnir, and Njord told Skirnir to ask Frey what the matter was. Then Skardi said, Get up, Skirnir, and go ask our son to talk. Find out who it is who's made him so angry. Skirnir replied, I can expect only bad words from your son if I go and talk with him, if I go to ask him who it is who's made him so angry. Skirnir went to Frey. Tell me, Frey, great among the gods, because I want to know, why are you sitting alone inside the hall all day long, my lord? Frey replied, Why should I tell you my sorrow, young man? The sun shines all day long, but it does not soothe my longing. Skirnir replied, Lord, I doubt that your longings are so great that you cannot tell me about them. The two of us were young together a long time ago. We can trust each other. Frey replied, In Gimir's yard I saw a beautiful woman walking. Her arms shone so bright they reflected in all the air and sea. That woman means more to me than any woman has ever meant to any young man. But among the gods and elves, there is no one who would bless our marriage. Skirnir replied, Give me a horse that will carry me through darkness and flame, and give me your sword that fights by itself against enemy giants. Frey listened and replied, I'll give you a horse that will carry you through darkness and flame, and I'll give you my sword that fights by itself, if it is carried by a wise man. 